what is going on if you're here watching this video right now that means you probably updated your switch firmware to the latest version and you can't boot into cfw when you go ahead and click on launch you probably get an error message like the one you see here now in this video i'm going to teach you guys how to update atmosphere and hecate so you can get back into your switch now make sure you have your sd card plugged into your computer and you open up the root of your sd card now you should see something similar to mine. It's okay if it's slightly different. If at the end of this video, you are still struggling or running into any errors, then please join my server Hangout HQ and ask your question in the Homebrew Syspot channel with any images of the error that you are getting. Now first things first, let's head over to the GitHub and grab the latest release of Atmosphere. Make sure you are downloading the file that says the latest release. Scroll down and under assets you should see the latest release of Atmosphere as a zip file. Once you go ahead and click on it and you should have the file on your computer, make sure you have it unzipped and then you'll see three files in it, Atmosphere, Switch, and homebrewmenu.nro. Now what you want to do is you want to open up the root of your SD card and you want to drag and copy and paste these three into the root. Once you do, if you get a message like this, make sure that you are replacing the files in the destination. Once you're done with that, you're done updating your atmosphere. Next thing we want to do is head over to the GitHub to Hecate. Make sure that you are grabbing the latest release. Scroll down and under assets, you should see the Hecate.zip file. Make sure that you're not downloading the source code and you are downloading the very first one that says Hecate Nix Zip. Now, once you have that downloaded, um, all you want to do is copy over just the bootloader folder into the root of your SD card and make sure that you click on replace the files in the destination. Now for the Hecate bin file, you don't want to copy and paste that into the root of your SD card. You are actually going to use this to boot into CFW on your Tegra RCM. Now once you have your switch plugged in, you want to make sure that you go ahead and find the right payload. Now once you find your Hecate payload, the latest one, which is 5.7.0 as the time of this recording, you want to make sure you inject that. Now this may be different depending on when you're watching this video and what version of Hecate you're downloading. So make sure you're downloading the latest one from the Hecate zip file. Once you do that, and once you have your jig in and you have your switch plugged in, make sure that you are injecting the payload. After that, you're all set. Make sure that you launch into Atmosphere and you're all good to go. Once again, thank you guys for watching my video. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. I'll see you guys on the next one.